We we have like a like like I don't know. I will say one of the really nice things. I actually would rather play fucking console than Sky. We don't we don't really have like that that is actually probably one of the biggest benefits I would say about like Detroit and like Michigan. Really well, I guess specifically the Detroit area, but Michigan in general. We have like we have zero natural disasters and we have like zero like poisonous animals and stuff like that. For the most part, no dangerous animals, no like a brown recluse and the black widow too ex too extremely bad. There's barely any of them around here. Like I've only seen a, I've only seen a few in my entire life. There's none in Sweden. No, yeah, it's awesome. It's nice. It's nice not to have to worry about that ever. Like, I don't have to worry about hurricanes, floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, fires. You know. And like, there's no dangerous animals here. Yeah, there's black bears in the Upper Peninsula, but that's like it. And um, we don't really have um. Uh... Yeah, like we. I don't know. I mean, there's like coyotes here, I guess, but like. They're, like, scared of people. Like, you just, you know, yell at them. Even if you just walk toward them, they just bolt. They generally just bolt. And, like I said, I think there are brown recluse and black widows here, but they're, like, pretty infrequent. Um, I'm gonna take... Oh, we have a map. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna take a doke, dude. Listen to Americans talk about venomous animals as dangerous. <laughs> okay, listen, we don't. I understand you live in Australia where like every animal. See, that's like making like like the like. I'll give you like the like equivalent, right? It's like saying if you like go to Australia, you just like die from like a poison snake or spider like attacking you. Your drone has found a bomb. Yes. I mean, we always joke about Australia and stuff like that, mostly because of Jeddo and Oz are fucking trolls. Like, there's like a few. We have a few like Australian trolls, honestly. I don't know, dude. Australia is producing a lot of trolls, it seems. <laughs> He's top house now. He's like in Samurai. That's their true dangerous export. People trolling. George, what do you want to do? I'm Yona over here. I'm still in cams. There's a guy apparently in Geisha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drone shrine real quick. Australians just love their country. One's in Geisha. That's fair. One's in, one's in T and one's in Geisha, George. He's out, man. He's just stupid. Bad. He's right. The diffuser has been recovered. Four remaining. Huge. Top black. No, that was his head. How did I not kill this guy? What? 
I guess I fucking missed. That sucks. I couldn't even see him on your screen. Do you have a white headgear on? Yeah. I think oh, okay. I, I think I I think I hit the like bomb chest. I just missed his head by like an inch. I I like couldn't see him at all. Uh, I don't know. It's... your drone to locate a bomb. Brown recluses? I don't think they're, like, as bad. The thing with, like... Found a bomb. I don't even think you'll die if you get bit by a brown recluse or a black widow, like, on average. So... Let me read up on it. I actually don't even know. I think mostly you'll just like in 10 get like pretty sick. Five seconds to go. Their bites don't even always require medical attention. Bomb. Make your way to its location and uh, I think you ran restaurant side. So yeah. A lesion restaurant. Let's see. It says skin necrosis it happens when you get bit by a brown recluse 37% of the time. Systemic systemic illness is 14%. They're also very, really aggressive. They just run away. I don't know. Seems like they're like poisonous, but it's not like a death sentence if you get bit by one by any means. It's probably just more of like uncomfortable. Casually just melts your skin off. But like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's not great, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there's like. I'm on the bar. Uh, what about Black Widows? I'm kind of curious. Black Widows, dude. I remember these were the ones that like we always used to get. Um. We always used to get, like, warned about when we were kids and stuff. They rarely cause death or serious complications. Only the... Only... Uh... I don't know, dude. I have to, like... So it gives, if you get bit by a black widow, it, call, it causes latro disease. It's an illness fun with a bite, pain, muscular rigidity, vomiting, and sweating. That sounds fun. Symptoms usually last for three to seven days, but may last up to several weeks. There was a guy who purposely got bit by a black widow. So he could document the symptoms. And whether to test someone could be build immune after being bitten. The effects of the bite were so painful and harsh that Blair failed to compete the experiment and did not follow up being bitten through a second time. What the fuck? Uh, 2,200 people total in the U.S. report being bitten by a black widow, but most do not need medical treatment. Uh, some bites have no venom injected. It's a dry bite. No deaths due to black widows have ever been, have, sorry, have been reported 
to the American Association of Poison Control since 1983. Black widows are not aggressive. They very rarely bite unless threatened. We need to locate so, a it seems like yes. I mean, I don't want to, you know, ask a fucking doctor, right, of course, when it comes to this kind of stuff, but it seems like if you get bit by a black widow or, like, a brown recluse, like, yes, it is painful, but you'll be all right. Like, you're not going to die or anything. Right. Plus, if you get bit by one, just seek medical treatment and you'll be fine. Right? Probably. Right? You know. Have you ever seen those bites from those spiders? I agree that it's not great, right? But in terms of like, you know, there's some spiders and snakes and stuff where if they bite you, you're pretty much dead. Like that's not really the case for like black widows and brown recluses, like what's in like the northern U.S. I'm not saying you'd want to be bitten by one, but... Kill Bandit, Doc's behind the... Thing, that barbecue bar. I don't know, dude. I I don't, I don't fuck with nature. I just don't go outside. I mean, I go outside, dude, but let's just, you know, I'm not fucking rolling around in nature, you know? That's funny as fuck. <laughs> I pinged this trap, and this guy went to shoot the trap, and he fucking killed the guy. web spiders i don't know what it is by the way with australians and like huntsmen's dude they're like totally cool with like a dinner plate sized spider just like roaming the house sydney funnels arguably the most venomous spider yeah like you're not that likely like you like there's been 13 deaths recorded from sydney funnel web spiders but up to 30 to 40 people are bitten hmm Bro, that was like crazy to me. There was this guy that I met. He, uh, one time I was in New York for like an AIMLAB comp for the AIMLAB like conference and stuff like that. He was Australian. Nicest guy, very very nice guy. But he was telling us the story of how when he was a kid, he had the spider. Yeah, we had this spider named Pooley. Pooley, you said. Roam around the house. Size of a dinner plate. Like, are you fucking shitting me? You had a spider the size of your di a dinner plate walking around your house like it's nothing? Yeah, mate. What the fuck do you mean? And he said, "This is what he told. This is what he told us. He's like, yeah, one day we were all eating TV dinners, and we had a big thump in the kitchen. We ran over to the kitchen, and Paulie fell off the ceiling." And we all cried because Polly died. 
Like this guy, this guy's family, there's a random huntsman spider that just entered his house and they just ended up keeping it as like a pet. That's Ash and Ayana. Thank God. Those guys are bots. That's what most of you could do? He's like, yeah, it was great for pest. It used to eat... I guess it would eat, like, mice, other bugs, other spiders, fucking birds. One bottom house. Forest strength is out of this world. They're like in Kitchen George. There's a restaurant cam still. Uh, still have top house cam as well. Don't see anything. Dude. Yo, come on, I should not have chased that. Coming up black. Of course, I'm gonna be dealing with some stupid fuck baiting. <sighs> it's gotta get back, Lips. Black last. Friendly last operator standing. We have your T door. Snakes. Yeah, that's what the, the like, you know, that guy from Australia told me too. He's like, he's like, honestly, he's like, I'm not even really like afraid of like spiders. T door, T door, T door. In. Nice. He's like, he's like, I'm not even afraid of like snakes or spiders really. He actually said box jellyfishes are the scariest thing. I don't know if it, like any Australians can confirm, but he was saying that, uh, yeah, like the box jellyfish is like the scariest part or scariest thing. Honestly, if we have a Cade, eh, whatever, I'll take this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the other one. It was box, jellyfi box jellyfishes and blue ring octopuses. Those are, like, he said that's what he was actually scared of. Like, he said, like, a huntsman, he would let it, like, live in his house. He said the thing that scares him is, like, yeah, the box jelly. I think, it was, like, he specifically mentioned the box jellyfish. The city of Funweb is the most venomous player in the world. There have been no recorded deaths since 1980 when the anti venom is developed. That makes sense. I mean, yeah, I think that's what it is for the snakes, too, right? Even the really dangerous snakes, can't you just get the anti-venom and you're, like, probably good? Like, you'll probably be in, like, a lot of pain and all that shit, but... Snakes will kill you. Running into my teammate's gunfire? Well, you can just do that. There's in prep phase, there's no reverse friendly fire. Yeah, box jellyfishes are like not no joke, dude. They're actually crazy.
Seven of the ten most dangerous snakes are in Australia? Bro. A bomb has been located by Op 4. Man, oh, this balcony. I killed no man. <sighs> One might be downstairs. I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Yep, right there, Capcom. Most venomous snakes will kill you even if you take the anti venom. That's fucked. So you literally are just dead if certain snakes bite you. What if you what if you get there within like an hour? Like 30 minutes. Let's say you live in like a like pretty populated area. You'll die if it's an hour? I know there's like some. Pr you're fucked. So basically, unless you're like carry. So what do you do? Like, what if you're like on a hike, dude, and you get bit by a snake? Do you just have to carry like. All friendly Do you just have to carry like anti venom with you or something? You pray and have a tug. <laughs> Bro, how are you supposed to get the fucking? How are you supposed to fucking? Jack off when you're fucking dying of a snake bite. Suck the venom out? Suck it, baby! Anti-venom is expensive as fuck. So it's not, like, plausible to, like, keep it around in, like, a camping pack or, like, whatever, hiking pack. Bro. I'm not going to Australia. Protect the bombs. I'm just staying inside where it's safe. Or not, I don't know. I mean, statistically, like you're pretty unlikely to get bit by a shark. Oh yeah, dude. By the way, moose are fucking nuts. Have you guys ever seen a moose charging? Bro, a moose will fucking rock your shit. People, people like. People, people don't realize like moose are crazy, dude. They're actually psychotic animals. Ow! What the fuck? How do you see me? Fuck you! Yes! I got you! Fuck you! I don't even care! I killed Ace. <laughs> Huge. If you made a petition and turned Sledge into a two-speed again when I sign it, I don't think the devs give a fuck about that, dude. Sea snakes? The fuck do you mean sea snakes? I've actually seen those before, but I forgot they existed until, like, you literally just said that right now.
They're a thousand times more dangerous than land snakes. Great. Bought an eel before in Australia? FHP, bottom, bottom house. Okay, how common is it in Australia to get by snakes, spiders, all that kind of stuff? Because the guy that I was talking to, the Australian guy that I was talking to, he said that he had been bit by like 10 snakes and spiders and stuff like that. But he like got anti-venom and stuff because he used to like fuck with snakes all the time. When he was like, I guess he lived in a more like rural area and they like literally had anti-venom on hand because people used to get bit like all the time. Coming up house stairs. I mean, yeah. But what about like the rest of Australia? So like if you're in like a rural area, you're probably getting bit like all the fuck coming up house here, all the way up. Yeah, he said he was in like a really rural area. So like, I don't know. There's a poison sea snake that could send venom through a wood material and affect everyone. What the fuck? Rural areas are pretty common. People from Sydney likely wouldn't have seen a wild one. Okay. Kangaroos are everywhere. You see them all the time. Kangaroos are fucking built, dude. Kangaroos are like fucking moose. They'll fucking rock your shit. People think of them as cute, cuddly animals. They will fucking destroy you. Spiders are fucking everywhere. So, like, okay, people who live in, like, Sydney or whatever, like, who live in Australia, right, or, like, wherever you live, do you live in, like, an urban area or rural area, and, like, how often, or, like, I guess, how many people do you know that have been bit by a snake or a spider? Oh, yeah, that, that viral video of that guy fighting a kangaroo. Because, I don't know, I only had, like, the, the only guy that I really talked to, like, an extended period of time about that was that one guy, but he lived in a rural area, so, like, it doesn't really, like, count, you know? Plus, it's just one person. Mm-mm. Yeah, it seems like every Australian, like, doesn't even care that, like, half the animals that are on that, like, like, continent are just, like, potentially, like, venomous and could kill them. They just care about magpies that attack them. I'll shoot drones for you, Smoke. No, I'm not saying snakes, like, okay. Like, snakes or spider bites, I guess. Like, how common are, are the, or whatever, getting bit by an animal. Or attacked by an animal. Minus magpies, because evidently those are like the worst thing ever. Dude, every Australian I talk to is like, Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck about that, that, that snake that has one drop of venom can kill half of fucking humanity. Let me tell you something, I was walking the other day and a fucking magpie attacked me. Magpies seek and destroy other animals only come after you if they're in their territory. Bottom house, I think. Smoke. Swooping season is fucked. Bye, yep, sir. I'm falling back too. Oh my god, you're up the stairs already! One by the top black door. Top black. Yeah, magpies are birds. Dude, I could tear I could terrify I could literally terrify right. Jetto right Walk now. I could terrify Jetto in an instant. Watch this. Watch this, dude. I could literally I could I could terrify Jetto. This is worse than calling him boss. You just, you just show him. All friendlies have been neutralized. A bit of a skill game. This image.
This bird. Bro, they're cute. They're cute little birds. Those are not your magpies. Mm-mm. Your magpies are bulkier? Hey, hey, that's not our magpies. I think it, that's, not, that's not a destroy you one. <laughs> okay, hold on. We need to locate a bomb. Oh, here it is, dude. Oh, you could even hear what they sound like. <laughs> I won't. I won't do that to you. I won't do that to you. You can literally just pull out this image. And it strikes fear into the heart of every Australian. Look at its eye. Look into its eye. <laughs> they actually look mean as fuck, honestly. Look at its eye, dude. It's ready to a swoop. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. <laughs> he is. He is the doorway. They have a Solus? I just cracked the door and shot my drone. Dude, this gas is running out. He hopped out of shrine. There's two of them there. There's one more. Mm -mm -mm. That's a strange Pokemon. Bye, bro. One's bottom house looking out that window. Yeah, like, okay. How aggressive are magpies? Let's just say you're minding your own business, okay? You're walking down the street on the sidewalk. What are the chances if there's a magpie that's, like, on the other side of the street that it's gonna attack you? They swoop cars. There are three known deaths from magpie attacks. It's coming, bro, 100%. <laughs> so magpies are just like, it's it's always, it's just on sight. Like, as soon as a magpie, as soon as a magpie, like, knows, that you, like, where you are, like, remotely, it's just on sight. Dumb. Where's this drone, dude? Behind you in bull or drum. In breeding season, a thousand percent chance running, of swooping. Anyone out in swooping season is getting These searched and destroyed. And you never see them coming. If it's seen you walk before it's had babies like, for a month and it won't? Dokubi. Bro, this bird is that smart they that they can remember you dragon. like that? Dude. Yeah, you could befriend them. They're cute for most of the year. The fuck? They're super intelligent. Some people have them as pets. On God, swooping season is real. They belong to the same group as crows make. make. Where should we go? It's good on karaoke mostly. Then again, I did These kill two like people. Henry. We can play. I mean, we could do either, honestly. I'm gonna bring cap can. If you start feeding them, they'll come get food from you Put every day. All. So you have to bribe them, right? So basically, <laughs> In serious places. bro, these birds. What is this? The magpie fucking mafia, where you have to like feed them a certain amount of food per day so you don't get swooped. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm a fucking magpie. You get near me, and you don't give me my fucking cut of food. I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna come for you real fast, and it's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swoop you real good. <laughs> the snack tax. 
I need my fucking cut, and I need it now. Bro, they actually have a New York accent. People come with crazy shit for magpie protection. Dude, I I have I remember you guys were telling me that people put like helmets with like googly eyes in the back of the head because they won't attack you if you're like staring at them or whatever. Okay, one went top black. Held them. Big plays, big plays. Nice. One out four remaining. Dude. Alright, we need to just chill. That's probably gonna yep. bait super hard. I'm vibing. Our, our teammate has case. Worst case, can you ping it? Okay. So he's got a case outside of Terrace. But yeah, I think he's he like like outside of Geisha. Yeah. Yo, I can place the C4 below for his hop in. Zip ties in the helmets work? Did you see that? Nah. Okay. Nah. Oh, this guy just yoinked my MVP in the last second. Dude, I'm gonna upload this video to my second YouTube channel, and I'm gonna fucking put a picture of a magpie in the thumbnail. <laughs> who is this guy? Oh, that makes sense. It'll be like, the like the viewership will be zero views from Australia. <laughs> really crazy, but it's like YouTube gives me back my stats after I upload the video, and it's gonna be like every person from Australia blocked your channel <laughs> that the video was recommended to, and that was sub to you. <laughs> we don't know why. <laughs> Consider changing your thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Magpie. They're evidently that bad. I want to get an alpha pack. Let's do that. I want to open up a pack. Something good. Yes! Fuck! Duplicate on top of it, dude? Come on. Oh. Are you still playing? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Are you... Yeah. Are you not in my lobby on your screen? No. Oh, you're in my lobby on my screen. Hold up. I will leave and reinvite. I reinvited you. <laughs>